46 days of blistering heat and it's really taken a toll on not only the potatoes but all the other crops we've had lettuce bolting we've had all sorts of things dying off like these potatoes here but in today's episode we're going to take a look at just one bucket of potatoes now this was one of the first buckets of potatoes that i sowed which was for a world record attempt but potatoes are pushing up out to the surface we're going to take a look at that and that's coming right up after this well as you can see this bucket is still growing and i could leave it to continue just like the others behind them but I've decided I'm going to pull this bucket because I've ha been having to put some wood chip on top and it's produced more than one tuber which is not what I wanted. This row of buckets here was designed and planted just so that we could produce one tuber. Now this isn't a case of trying to get a big yield or anything like that, we're just after one potato and the biggest possible. So we're going now to harvest this potato or this bucket see how many tubers formed and uh, and what they're looking like as far as size now these buckets are relatively moist they were watered yesterday so that's not so bad um, but I do know that the crops have been struggling big time because of this lack of rain that we've had and again we've had a lack of water and in fact I've got beans over there all the leaves are starting to yellow on them they're pretty much finishing and there's not a lot I can do about it Anyway, let's get over to the barrow and uh, we'll have a look at that. So I'm literally just gonna pull off these tops. As you can see, it is it is still green and it would have continued growing. And in fact, I've just pulled off a potato there. Now, this is a variety called Condor. And um, they have the potential, it's actually the world record potato. I'm just gonna pull this stuff off the top because I don't want to mixing in with the compost too much. There's another potato there. I'll put that down there for a second. Okay. So I'm just going to put them two potatoes back up on top and we'll pour this out. So it is quite moist as you can see because I have been watering it. But a nice sized potato there i'll put them back in this bucket for now it's uh very strange in that they've gone oh yeah it's looking a little better as we go guys so uh there's four potatoes here now ideally we only wanted one what this shows me there's another one here look Again, another nice big potato. But you imagine all this growth had gone into one, uh, one potato, then we would have been absolutely landed. There's another one there. So, you know, it's not a wasted thing because we know we can still get a feed out of these. but I would have liked to just grow that one single potato here. And I think that's it guys. So, these are the potatoes that uh, grew and we were just after one. Now, if you guys remember um, these potatoes, we planted them and we removed all the small potatoes, all the chits and everything that we could 
in order just to get a single potato and yet we still ended up with two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven potatoes. Now if all of this effort had gone into one potato um, we would have had a, a decent sized potato but it didn't. So um, we're going to put them in the box and there is another bucket there that I want to harvest and we'll do that now as well. Okay, so let's see what we get in this one. Well, there's already a small one. Pull out these weeds, we don't want them in it. And again, as you can see, the variety is condor again. Okay. This one ain't looking too great, guys. Oh dear. Now, in this one, we tried something new. And I added a lot of perlite and vermiculite to this in order to try and loosen up the soil, thinking that the potatoes would grow bigger. And there's our measly results. So if you're thinking of adding perlite to grow a giant potato, guys, don't. Because we haven't even had a decent uh, crop of potatoes out of it, let alone a decent sized potato. They did not like this. There's another one there. I'll put this back at you. So that's very disappointing. It isn't lack of moisture because it's wet enough, as you can see. This was just purely not a very good growing potato. Whether that was down to seed, genetics, what. But what this has done, guys, is showed us keep the vermiculite and the perlite out of your growing mix for your potatoes because um, a lot of what I'm doing here is trial and error to try and grow that big potato. You've got to push the envelope because if you're after a world record, then you need to be able to um, change things to the norm and see, um, see if your results work. And if they don't, then you move on to the next step. But perlite and vermiculite is a no in potato mixes. It just, it's just not working for them, guys. Um, I will check another bucket because we got another bucket that's got this mix in it and I want to see if the results are very similar, so bear with me. Again, the variety is condor. There's a okay-ish spud, but not what we were looking for. But um, variety is condor again. All right, let's have a look what we got in this one. So I'll put that on top there. Well, I gotta say, I'm really disappointed again. Um, not what I was looking for at all. Like I said, I just wanted a single potato. Um, but, you know, they'd be great potatoes for eating, great size for eating, but not what I wanted. And what we'll do in a moment, we'll empty out all three barrels and have a look, considering we're just supposed to only have three potatoes. Um, yeah, that's it. Okay. So there we have it, guys. It's, um, decent sized potatoes in here but it's not what we were after we were after big potatoes to show not to eat and we got a lot of little small ones here so I gotta say really really disappointed these two possibly could have gone on especially this one with this lump coming off the end if that had continued growing um, 
but the bucket was filling out it was pushing out over the top so we couldn't really do that um, but look on the bright side we've got some fantastic potatoes that we can eat here so it's not a total loss and these were planted in excess of what we would normally plant for food because they weren't ever supposed to be growing potatoes so we've got the added bonus of that as well question of the day so how many of you are growing potatoes for show this year whether it being a world record or just show potatoes how many of you are doing that put your answer in the comments below if you haven't already don't forget to hit that subscribe button we're really trying to get this channel to to grow don't forget to give a thumbs up see if we can hit 250 thumbs up on this video i'd really appreciate that and don't be afraid to share our videos with all your friends and family and uh, networks that you're you're with that just leaves me to say that i really appreciate all your views all your comments and everything else and don't forget guys you reap what you sow so i'll be seeing you in the next episode bye bye